Hey everyone, Brian here again. It's been a long time since I made a review video, but lately I've been and still have been dealing with stuff like renovating, repairing, and upgrading my house. I've also been playing around with some sort of new equipment, and I mean sort of new because it's they've been out there for some time, but to some people they may not have never seen it. So to kick things off, I'd like to go ahead and introduce to you or reintroduce to you uh, the Gerber Ghost Strike Fix Blade. And right now I have this attached to my uh, daily hiking kit and I'll go ahead and show that to you later if I get enough comments in the uh, below. Anyways, here we go. So here <clears throat> is the Gerber Ghost Strike and I'll go ahead and pull the blade out. And there it is. So... To begin, this uh, full tang ghost strike, which is made in Portland, Oregon, uh, weighs in at a very light 3.6 ounces and has an overall length of 3.6 inches. The blade is comprised of 420 high carbon steel, so as you all know, it's not really the best steel, but it's definitely, it's, it's decent. Um, it does come with its signature Gerber rubber overmold grippy handle. And mine, I'm not sure about anybody else's, but mine came in pretty close to being razor sharp. In fact, I say it's just probably under being razor sharp and making this a fairly decent defensive knife and or a backup blade for when you're trekking in the great outdoors. The sheath, as you see here, the sheath that it comes with, uh, it has multiple carry options from being worn on the side to the small of the back, around your neck, to around your ankle, or in this case, attach my water bottle canteen set. Um, and I'll look. I'll show you that in a moment here as well. Uh, the handle itself. Now, this is something I always look for. Uh, look to in a, in a blade. It is very ergonomic. Uh, as you can see, my thumb just rests right above here, and this is uh, typically where a lot of people strike their uh, ferrocenium rods. Um, and as I've seen already in some defense videos, people have been sticking their thumb there, just like that. whoop de doo Anyways, uh, so basically one major thing I like about this blade is that it's using some kind of new paint, which lasts a heck of a lot longer given that new look. And believe me when I say that I've used this blade for many, for many things, from striking fires to whittling to gutting a trout or ten trout in that last trip, uh, fishing trip. I would literally recommend the Gerber Ghost Strike to anyone on any day. And to demonstrate the sharpness of it, I'm actually worried I might even nick my finger doing this. So as you can see, the cuts are uh, very fine. Get rid of that. And before I forget, <clears throat> Let me show you a close-up of this handle. I mean, I'm sorry, of this sheath. And as you can see, I ra have wrapped it around with 550 paracord. Now, I do have one complaint about the sheath. Uh, you will see how there are these uh, uh, um, metal metal rings. And for the life of me, I just can't remember. Rivets. Anyways, when you put the blade in, the blade has a tendency of actually, if you listen closely... rubbing in into those and there's another rivet inside here that I don't know if I could get a good angle on it let me see if I could show that to you alright well take my word for it there's another there's another little rivet in there that holds the, the sheet together the edge of the blade tends to rub on that and that is a little bothersome but it has no effect well I haven't noticed any effect of the blade getting dull yet um, I've, I've had it for a little while, I've had it for about a year, but it hasn't gotten dull yet, but it's just one of those things that kind of irks me just a little bit. So that's the uh, only downside I, I could think of. Anyways, like I said, I do recommend this blade for anybody who's looking for a small, easy to carry, self-defense uh, weapon, or to have as a backup blade. And as you always check your state, local state laws, and make sure you're not in California when you have this blade, because apparently those are illegal too now. Alright, so real quickly here, <clears throat> I don't know if I could do this really well. Nah, 
All right, I'll have to do a separate video on this. But anyways, as you can see here, I have it attached to my canteen, uh, my canteen and uh, new cook kit, which is attached to a tactical uh, condor belt by Condor. As you can see here, I got the uh, new setup for the strong arm, so I could have it easy, you know, easily clip it in instead of pushing the belt through. And if you all want to know what the strong arm looks like these days. I've been beating the living snot out of this thing, and it still is in perfect shape. Paint job, can't really say much about that. But actually, this is a good example uh, to show you. So this was the uh, old paint job design. As you can see, it wears out pretty quickly. Um, you know, I'm not as hardcore as some of the other people out there or some of my friends who study bushcraft. But, I, you know, I do use this blade every time I go out and go camping. Uh, batoning, cutting, preparing, any of that stuff. This this uh, this paint job has not lasted nearly as well as this new one. And yes, I know this is brand new, but I've also have, in my book, pretty much have equally used this as much as I use this to what this blade is capable of doing, which is light use, by the way. Uh, so as you can see, it's lasted a heck of a lot longer, and it looks a lot newer. Anyways, um, I'll go ahead and keep on doing some more videos. There's some more things I want to go ahead and show you guys on here. Like on here, I got this uh, new tactical flashlight called Gear from Gearlight. Uh, it is a focusing uh, light here. Let me see if I. Yeah, you can focus it. You can zoom in. Um, it's got it, it. I forget what the looms are. I have to look at this up again. But I've been using this for you know night trips. Like I said, I haven't used this flashlight all that much. I recently just got it. Anyways, once I learn more about it, I'll make a review on it. Uh, so yeah, this is Brian uh, showing you the. This is very dangerous. This is Brian showing you the Gerber Ghost Strike, and I'll be making more videos. I'm signing off for now. Talk to you later. Bye bye.